Hello and welcome to an episode of Advanced GIS. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at GIS workflows and how to use Python programming and model builder to create reproducible workflows in ArcGIS Pro. Okay, welcome back. Last time we were taking a look at the scripted version of our model builder process. And we saw that our model became a geo process over here in ArcGIS Pro. And we saw that geo processes in Arc Pro are functions in Python. So the tool that we created became a function. The parameters that we created became inputs to the function. And then the script of our function just went through each of the geo processing tools until we finally came out with the last layer that we wanted to create. And we saw that in Python, we run a tool with the by by calling the function name and SWW shed SPW shed was the name of our function. And we passed it the arguments and the arguments in this are just the way in which they grab them from this geo processing pane. Now, what if we wanted to be able to run this outside of a geo processing toolbox? So in ArcGIS Pro, as well as in ArcGIS Online, we now have access to what's called notebooks. So from here, if we come up to the insert tab of the ribbon, you'll see where we usually create maps and layouts and toolboxes, we can create something called a notebook. So I'm gonna click new notebook. And once the kernel is done initializing, I can come up here to my notebook tab in the ribbon and I see that I have the diskette here for saving. Over here in catalog, I'm gonna unpin. And over here, I'm going to save my notebook. And I should be able to see it over here in my folders, in my home folder. And here we see my new notebook, IPYNB. So over here in catalog, I'm going to right click and come up here to rename. And I'm going to call this my W shed tool. And we see that once we've renamed it in the catalog, it gets renamed here in the pane. And we do see that we are back over here in notebooks. And I can repin this so that I don't have to see it. And I'm going to bring back the Python script from before. All right, so the way in which notebooks works is that we have these input cells with a little in beside it. They're called cells. And cells have two different types, typically code, which is shortcut key Y if you're in command mode and markdown shortcut key M. So in command mode means that they are blue. If I hit the Y on my keyboard, it is a code cell. And if I hit M on the keyboard, we see that it switches to markdown. So between Y and M. Or in command mode, you can come up here to this drop down box and simply select the type of cell you want. So the way in which Markdown works is that this is textual elements with some formatting. So the title of this is my special works project. And maybe the subtitle is creating a watershed delineation workflow. And below is the process 
of defining our watershed delineation workflow for the Napa, California. An area in Napa, California. Okay. And then you can click run and you see that you get your markdown, which was if you come in here and double click or hit the enter key, just some textual elements with some minor formatting. And then when you run it, it becomes rendered as though it were a website in HTML. So it looks like a website. Now, one of the nice things about Markdown is that it also works with multimedia. So I'm going to come over here to my watershed tool. This is my model builder in graphical format. I'm going to come over here to export to graphic. And I don't want it to be an SVG. I guess I don't have a choice. And we'll call this my special works watershed tool SVG. And I'm going to save this in my project folder. And let's see if the SVG will actually show up. So in order to show an image, the formatting, which you can come up here to help and go to Markdown Help and look at some basic formatting, headings, styles for bold and italics and strike through, how to do block quotes, how to do coding blocks, how to do hyperlinks, relative links, ordered and unordered lists, nested lists, task lists, and for some reason, images aren't in here. Uh, maybe under links? No. Well, images are a type of link. Links take this format, square brackets, text, round brackets, address. And to become an image, you just proceed the line with the bang or the exclamation points. No text. And we call this Special Works Toolbar SVG. And let's see if that will render. And there we go. So below is the process of the, so below is the process is the graphical model. Huh? Is the model builder graphical process of delineating our watershed of, of delineating our watershed Okay. So there we go, special works project. So this gives us the nice graphical part of our process.